Have you suddenly found your computer is infected and no matter what you do, you can't get rid of the bug? I'm gonna show you how you can remove any bug off of any computer, even if you don't have antivirus, even if you don't have malware protection, even if you don't know a single thing about fixing computers. It's fully automated and 100% free. Let's check it out. Now, just to make it a little more interesting, today's test subject is gonna be my personal laptop. And to up the stakes a little bit more, I'm gonna remove antivirus and malware protection so my machine is gonna be completely exposed. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start going through my spam email and just start clicking on everything. And then, to take it up a notch, I'm gonna actually go and download malware to my machine. Gonna do what? So before you call the computer guy, let me show you how easy it is to fix your own computer. So here's my test subject, running perfectly, running clean, zero bugs, but not for long. So some people may call me crazy for purposefully downloading bugs to a computer. Crazy, insane. Insane? But what I wanted to do is show you no matter how bad your computer is, you can easily fix it. Put your credit card away. Everything I'm about to show you is 100% free and it actually works. So first thing I want to do is show you how the computer runs normally. And this would be a good example of when your computer's running like it's supposed to. I've got antivirus and malware protection on here, but I'm going to remove all those. So stick around to the end of the video because I do have some extra tips that are going to help you going forward after you remove these bugs. I'm going to remove the Avast free antivirus that I have installed and then I'm going to remove the malware bytes I also have installed. Before I start putting bugs on this computer, I want to go ahead and download the program first because it's entirely possible that some of these bugs may knock out my internet. Might not be a bad idea to go ahead and download this file on your computer just in case you do have a problem later. You won't need internet access to fix it. To download TronScript, you just simply want to go to Google and then in the search box type in download space Tron space script. The first link that comes up is a GitHub link. Scroll down on this page to where you see this section, do not download. Click on the TronScript Reddit link directly below it. This will take you to the official TronScript Reddit. On the right side, scroll down directly underneath the Reddit premium box. You'll see a download link. Click on that. Next page that comes up, scroll down to the download section and choose any of these official mirrors. And it will take you to the actual directory links that you need. Click on the first .exe Tron link to download the file. Okay, so I've got the Tron file download, but I'm going to show you what I would recommend for you when you open it in the download folder before you actually extract the program. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an emergency folder. That way, when you actually need it, you'll know exactly where to go to find the files you need. So I'm going to right click on this Tron file and choose cut. And in the downloads folder, I'm just going to right click and create a new folder and I'm going to call it exclamation mark computer emergency the reason i do that is now alphabetically you can see it's the very first folder and when you panic that's where you're going to want to go so i'm just going to open that folder and i'm going to right click and paste the tron file into that folder now if you remember i told you earlier that there was a little secret that i had for you and i'm going to show you what that is what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to google you're going to search for download r kill the very first link that comes up is bleeping computer just click on it just click on this green button right here and that will download the program. Now when you have the option to save it, put it in that computer emergency folder next to the Tron file. Now you're done with all the emergency files you're gonna need. So whether you're actively fixing the computer right now, if you can download that file, definitely do that. I'll explain why in just a second. If you're not actively infected, but you're just doing this for protection, you're gonna want this file. What our kill does, it kills any active Windows processes, including malware and viruses and spyware and anything that doesn't need to be running. A lot of times the only way you can fix a computer is if you stop the bug from actively running. Now, as soon as you restart the computer, all of those things will come back. But while you're working on it, our kill will kill all that stuff and allow you to start running the Tron. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go ahead and double click on the Tron script. What that's gonna do is it's gonna self extract and create a subfolder inside the folder that you downloaded the Tron script to. Now, as you can see here, there is now a Tron folder. Double click on the Tron folder. There's one folder and three files. That's where you want to be right now if your computer is not infected. Now because my computer is not infected, we need to take care of that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start infecting my machine. So I'm going to start clicking on links and we'll see what happens. Oops, I forgot to remove the Malwarebytes web shield. Hang on, now that that's removed it should allow the bugs to do whatever it is they're going to do. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to purposefully go to a website that is a malware repository where I can go download any bug I want and so I'm just gonna go through and I'm just gonna pick a handful of them at random. I think five or six good malware infections should probably do the trick. 
So all the malware has been downloaded. Let's run it and see what happens. I can already tell a difference in the speed. I've got the little blue circle of death. My computer never does that. So it's already running processes in the background that you probably are familiar with if you've ever seen that. Suddenly everything's slow for no reason. Well, there's a reason. It's probably because you picked up a bug. So I have removed all my security. I've downloaded a few bugs. I've clicked on a few emails. I've tried to download some questionable things on the internet. And as you can see, I'm already starting to get pop-ups all over my computer. I haven't even restarted yet. I'm gonna do that now. Let's see what happens after a reboot. I got a bunch of pop-ups telling me I need to contact Microsoft because my computer's been infected. This is more what I'm talking about. This is the kind of stuff people get on a daily basis. I've got a ton of browser extensions going on. I've got programs that I didn't install. I've got downloads running. I don't even know what half this stuff is. So this is a good indicator for you that you've definitely got a problem. So the first thing you're gonna always want to try to do is just close as many browser windows as you can if you have these kind of pop-ups. Now, in some cases, you are not gonna be able to do that. So if you remember from earlier, we downloaded the Arkill program. Now it's time to go and run it to get rid of some of the stuff. So go to your search box or your Windows Explorer, go to that folder, double click R kill, click OK. Anything that's potentially malicious should be stopped by R kill once that process starts. And just look how much slower my computer is. It's creeping along where it was super fast earlier. This is what happens when you get a really bad infection, but we're gonna fix it. Now the good news is, is if R kill doesn't stop the processes, it's not the end of the world. The Tron script will do its job. This is a good start if there's any actual virus infections not just annoying pop-ups. And if you look on the screen now, you can already see where Arkill is stopping existing processes. Just let it run. Look at all the things it's finding just on a few accidental downloads. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people go through this where they click on something accidentally and one thing turns into two, which turns into 12, and then they have nothing but pop-ups all over their screen. This is the most common thing I see every single day. Now the other thing I would recommend while Arkill is running, anything that is actively running like this Restoro program, if you can stop it manually, I would definitely recommend you do that. I'm going to show you another thing you can do real quick before you start the Tron script that's going to make a huge difference. So I'm just going to go ahead and close any windows I can. A lot of these things are going to run as soon as you restart the computer. So while Arkill has them basically under lock and key, that's when we want to run this utility. Our kill is finished. It's brought up a log file. You can just close that. So before you run the Tron script, anything that you think might have been installed, you still want to go into your Windows settings if you can. Go into apps and then you're going to click on by install date. What this is going to do is this is going to show you any programs that might have accidentally been installed when you got attacked. Now the vast majority of time what you end up with is spyware and browser extensions and some programs but it's always a good idea to go ahead and just check and see what's installed because if you can remove it yourself it's going to make sure that you get that much cleaner after the transcript runs. So before I run Tronscript, I want to run a quick scan with Malwarebytes just to see how infected my computer actually is. So the Malwarebytes scan ran and it found 134 infections. Now if you can't uninstall any programs and you can't click on anything in the taskbar, that's okay. Tronscript is going to do all the work for you. So if you remember earlier, we downloaded Tronscript. You're going to go back to the computer emergency folder that we created earlier. Go to the Tron folder and then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on Tron and then you're gonna run as administrator. You'll see this pop up, click yes. Tronscript is gonna go out and it's gonna download the latest debloat and malware removal lists. So just be patient and wait for it to finish. Program is gonna give you a prompt just letting you know it's not responsible for any damage that happens. Don't worry about it, nothing bad's gonna happen. Just type I agree in all caps and hit enter. And then you're gonna hit any key to continue. Now this is where the magic happens. First thing it's gonna do is it's gonna create a system restore point and now the program is going to ironically launch our kill, the same program we just ran a few minutes ago. So from this point, you really don't have to do anything other than sit back and wait. I've seen this process take as little as two hours up to 12 hours. The good news is, is when it's done, you're done. Your computer's clean. But there are still a couple things that we'll have to do afterwards. Stick around to the end of the video and let me show you how to do the final cleanup to make sure you're 100% clean. 
You may get prompted to download Microsoft's.net. That's perfectly okay. Just follow the prompts and then let that run. Transcript will continue after that. So the program launches McAfee Stinger, which is a standalone antivirus utility. Then it launches TDSS Killer, which is a rootkit scanner. Then it launches individual utilities, cleaning Internet Explorer, removing temp files, using CCleaner to get rid of excess crap on your computer. So I let Transcript run overnight. It's restarted the computer. Everything seems to be much better as far as response time. Things that I click on are opening very quickly now. So I've got a pretty good feeling that Transcript did its job, but there are a few other things that we still need to clean up. If you look in the system tray, there's still a couple apps that were installed that we need to remove. So I'm gonna go to the start menu, which is where they'll appear, and I'm gonna right click on each of them and uninstall them. So I've got a few other programs here that are leftovers, no big deal. I'll just go through and uninstall each of them. Because we ran the transcript, now everything is relatively responsive. So when I click on an uninstall, it actually pops it right up, which it didn't do before. It took forever to do anything. I took a computer that was nothing but pop-ups and all kinds of crap, and now it's usable again. Now we've removed any leftover programs, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to remove items from startup. So I want to right click on my taskbar, go to task manager, and then I want to go to the startup tab. So anything that is still left over in startup, I want to simply disable it. Just right click and disable. Just restart the computer and your PC will be back to optimum performance again, saving you a service call with just a couple clicks and a little bit of your time. So just because you have a clean computer doesn't mean you have the most optimized computer. So if you watch this video right here, I literally take you through every single step you need to know on how to make your computer run as fast as humanly possible. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.